So let's talk about truth tables. What is a truth table? Well, a truth table is a table that's going to tell us the validity of a proposition. And to do this, we're going to take a proposition. So for example, let's take this one. The sky is blue and white. So we have two things happening in this proposition. We have the sky is blue and we have the sky is white. Well, a truth table is going to tell us the validity of this statement and when this statement is true. So the truth table over here, the first two columns are going to be what we use to determine our uh, the validity of each variable independently. So the sky is blue is going to be represented by the variable p. We're going to put p over here. And the sky is white is going to be represented by q. Now in our sentence, we had an AND statement, and that's going to be going on this, this column right here. We're going to conjoin them with P and Q. The caret represents a conjunctive operator, and the conjunctive operator is basically the validity of this whole statement right here in yellow. So we're going to evaluate instances where P is true and false and where Q is true and false. And that will determine the validity of this proposition P and Q. Now it's really important to see here that we have truth values attached to the sky is blue and the sky is white. We obviously know that the sky can be blue and the sky can also be not blue which means that the law of excluded middle here is going to tell us that it's only true that the sky is either blue or not blue. So, in other words, the sky is blue can be either true or false. The sky is white also has a truth value. It can be either true or false. We're going to take combinations of whether the sky is blue is true or false and the sky is white is true or false and use this to determine the validity of the statement and see when the whole statement is true or false. So the sky is blue, our preposition P can be true and we can have our Q being true as well. We can have it where P is true and Q is false. Then we can have it where P is false, Q is true and where they both are false. So if the sky is blue and white, that would make the whole statement true because both parts are true, making the whole thing true. If the sky is blue and is true and the sky is white is false, this makes the statement false because the sky is not white, blue and white. Similarly for the next one, if the sky is not blue and the sky is white, then that doesn't make the statement the sky is blue and white true. So this would be false. And if they're both false, that would make the statement false as well. So we have a lot of different operators we can use for truth tables. We have a false, an F representing a contradiction, a down arrow, nor. And in the next video, when we're learning how to use truth tables, we're going to evaluate for each operator. So, I hope that cleared up what a truth table is and how it's used.